Hey Gemini, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your love reading for the month of October. And this is going to be for your sun, moon, and rising signs, okay? So, oh, all right. So I got four cards that just jumped out here. Hang tight for me. Okay. So first we have passion. A magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. All right. You're putting out some pheromones out here. All right, Gemini. Then we have acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point in trying to change that which is beyond our control because we are not in control. The universe is in control. God is in control. Okay. And we have to accept things, you know, as they come to us, as they are and roll with the punches. Cause when we fight against it, mm, we're not going to win. Okay. Let's just put it that way. Oh, it's five cards. Okay. And the emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision in order to see things clearly you must let go of resentment don't hold on to things that that truly will eat you up it really will emotions are a natural and necessary part of life but we have to learn how to balance those emotions we have to learn how to you know take things as they happen to us and um and let it bounce off of us you know learn from it if you could do anything what would it be the answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. All right. I really like that card. And then we, oh, okay. <laughs> Twin flames. Your passion ignites. Hmm. So this is possibly a twin flame for you. We'll put that one over there. Wow. Okay. All right. I think I'll put this one over here. I'll sit that right there. Twin flames. All right. What's going on for my Gemini's? Hmm. And, and you know that my I'm an Aries in Eastern Vedic and um, and you know the tropical astrology I'm the Aries through and through but my rising sign is Gemini so huh okay here we go gems what's going on for gems for the month of October Lord God please show me accurate and true messages for the sign of Gemini Huh. First out, we have a sun card. Happiness. Whatever, whatever it is that you ask yourself with this, if you could do anything, what would it be? Whatever you ask yourself, that answer is yes. It's a confirmation. It's an affirmation. Whatever it is that excuse me, that you're thinking about doing in your heart. This is a confirmation. That's, that's pure happiness. Pure happiness. Quite possibly a Leo um, that you're dealing with. Ooh, and then <laughs> we have the will of fortune. We have the will of fortune. Hmm. Fixed sign here. I think Scorpio, Taurus, I'm um, not sure what other signs. I really don't like calling out signs, really. But um, the Wheel of Fortune is <sighs> karmic cycles ending. And of course, when one ends, a new one begins. So you've got some good stuff going on here. 
you've got some really good stuff going here and these are sitting on top of passion a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present enjoy it hmm stand in your power go into this cycle with a bang staying true to yourself staying true to your heart what your soul is calling out for Mm, this is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, Gemini's. Oh, the world. Wow. Yeah. You know, you have just gone through, this was a major, you know, cycle ending. And you probably have gone through some major transformations here. You, yeah, you've got the will of fortune in the world right next, in all three of these major arcana. So it's some big shifts happening in your life currently. Some major shifts. Positive. Absolutely positive. I see you standing, you're, you're on cloud nine right now. Wow. And in this sun card, another card just jumped out while I was talking. You know, you notice that in this sun card, there are two people with a little dog down there. Somebody is truly excited about you. Somebody is passionate about you. And, and not passionate like in a sexual way, and I'm sure they are sexually attracted to you, but I mean passionate about, you know, being with you. When they think about you, you know, they think great thoughts. Look at that, the Knight of Wands. This is a Sagittarius card, but this is, is an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Or either you have this, this in your chart, but the Knight of Wands, you know, he is very creative and he he's very energetic you know wants to start things quickly like in a hurry and this could possibly be your energy where you know you are passionate about starting something new you know you're passionate about something it's sitting right on top of your emotions are a natural and necessary part of life but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. So be careful on this journey that you stay balanced and you know you you use your power of discernment. And you'll know you'll know you feel it because I feel like you have really, you know, probably gone through the ringer before because this is some major shifts that's happening around you and you possibly have fire in your chart heavy maybe in your um moon or rising sign hmm where either you have um like I said, a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius coming in. And as I stop shuffling, I just notice on the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Pentacles working together. Somebody wants to work with you and you them. And maybe it's not somebody in particular that you're thinking about, but you have a mentality now that, you know, you, you want to work with somebody. You're wanting to, you know, incorporate somebody else into your life, whether this be somebody from the past or whether it's somebody new coming in. Yeah, you've learned some truth. You know, you know what it is that's going to bring in this happiness. You know what it is. You've let go of the things that you needed to let go of. You've learned some truth. You know what it is that you're supposed to do. And that is why this Wheel of Fortune is turning right now. Because you've come out of that point where you were all up in your head. Being stuck. Being stagnant.
and quite possibly whoever this um this son this this Leo is right here is possibly you know has spoken some truth or will speak some truth to you in this new cycle will come out and tell you how much they love you hmm and the Hierophant is right next to the Ace of Swords. That's standing in your truth right there. That's believing what you believe, knowing what you know, and standing in it. The Hierophant is also the card of marriage, commitment. You know. Mm -hmm. Quite possibly a Taurus is coming in to speak some truth. Pass some truth to tell to you. Where you've learned some truth from a Taurus. Or you just learned some truth, period. You know, within yourself, just a knowing. Then as I stopped, I have the Queen of Cups at the bottom. As your overall energy, you know how to give love. You know, you know, because the, the Queen of Cups is a, re, a receptive energy. Um, and she doesn't really, like, just go out and just give her cup to anybody. She really doesn't. But she knows how to give it. And she will. We have the Four of Swords. Meditation. Resting. Kind of, you know, the truth that you know now. You are standing in it. You are thinking about it. You're reflecting. You know, you're, you're taking a break to try to, or you needing to take a break, to try to, you know, get your, your thoughts together, what it is that you want to do next, what are, you, what are you going to do? And you may be, you know, after this offer comes in from this Taurus or this Leo, um, then, you know, you may need some time to think about this. Because at this point, you're not trying to just jump into things. You're needing to kind of take a step back and look at things to see, you know, is this going to benefit me? Not, you know, not selfishly, but like just in protection of yourself, your energy. You know, do should I devote some time to this? Should I invest time in this kind of thing? Six of Wands, yes, you're... You, this is going to be um, a successful uh, venture for you. Whatever it is that you decide here that you're going to do, you're going to have success in it. You're going you're gonna to prosper in it. And you're going to make it happen. You're going to make it happen. This is your card here, the magician. You're going to make it happen. Because the magician has everything that they need. They have all the tools that they need. All they have to do is basically believe it and do it. They make it happen. So whatever it is that you've learned, you're going to take all of that knowledge in, incorporate that, and you're going you're gonna to move forward successfully. And whatever it is, the, the decision that you make, whatever you decide to do, and then we end with the Eight of Wands. Yeah, you're going to stay and roll ahead with that. You're going to stay and roll ahead with that. And you, you know, I feel like, too, somebody's coming in fast. You know, they may not have presented themselves physically in your life, but I feel like Somebody is really got you on their mind. They've really got you on their mind. I don't see any cups here, by the way. But I feel like, I feel an over, overwhelming feeling of love coming from, um, from this for some reason. This probably, what has happened is this is quite possibly a twin flame relationship. And you guys are probably in that separation phase right now. Where, you know, 
I'm surprised the Fort Cox is not here, where both of you are kind of like in your separate corners and, you know, neither one of you really knows that the other one really truly loves you or you them. But I feel like somebody is, is coming in here, like somebody is around you very heavily, very heavily right here. So you be careful with this Knight of Wands that when this person, if this person comes back, that you are, you know, you're balanced. Don't be sharp with your tongue, you know, don't, don't, don't react, respond. And I feel like you're going, you're going to do that. Use your power of discernment. Use your power of discernment where this is concerned. Let's go ahead and pull you a Divine Feminine um, Oracle card. Let's see what we got for my Geminis, my, my butts. I love Geminis. Let's see. We have Lala, the saint of spoken words. Every word I say becomes a prayer. I am the author of my own story. So make sure you say what it is that you mean to say and you mean what you say, okay? And don't be harsh with your words. Don't put negative self-talk. You know, don't, don't, don't speak that about yourself. Don't speak it about anyone else because you know what we put that, well, ugh. My gracious, what we put out there, you know, we bring back into ourselves as well. Okay, every word I say becomes a prayer. Remember that, gems. Let's put one more card here as an affirmation for you guys. Let's see what we have. Ha live your joy thank you angels for supporting me as i follow my joy follow your joy gemini's look at that sun card right there all right my gems